you were not going to believe this. Before I left home, I was told to read this book, Married to a Bedouin, a New Zealand lady who went uh, camping over here and she married a local. Well, guess what? That's her there. Salam. Hello. Hello. Are you really... Marguerite. I'm Marguerite. Yeah. I'm, re I'm reading your book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm reading your book. Before I left, I was told I had to read your book. So, how did you end up marrying a Bedouin? Well, I was backpacking here and um, so I was wandering aimlessly and I met Muhammad on the steps of the treasury, actually. And, um, yeah, we got married two months later. What, what was his opening line to you? Well, he invited us to stay in his cave. Uh, which seems really way out there, but in those days that's what we were looking for. We'd heard that when you're in Petra you can stay with the Bedouin in the caves. We thought, great, a free night's accommodation and free food. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like living in a cave? It was okay living in the cave. You know, there was one room, my housework was done in about 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> cool! I would love that. How many children did and, the two of you um, have together? Three. When you met him, was it love at first sight? No, that's what I was saying. It was, sort of <laughs> um, it was free food and a free night's accommodation at first sight. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Um, when did the love evolve? Oh, you see. Yeah, you have to read the book. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to a wedding way off in the mountains up there, and I say it was as Muhammad guided us singing through rocky, oleander-crowded canyons that I fell in love with him. There you go. Why I hadn't noticed his quick, eye-crinkling smile the day we met, I don't know, but I noticed it now. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. So, it's, it's so lovely to meet you. Uh, Can you autograph my book, please? Oh, uh, sure. sure. <laughs>